Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm B. This tutorial I'm going to explain how to implement pickups in VR with Unreal 4. For this tutorial, I'm using the VR Blueprint template that Unreal provides. This template is a very good start when you want to create a VR project from the ground up. It comes with basic VR interactions such as pickup and drop actors. I'm gonna keep everything on the template except for the pickup and the pickup interface. I'm gonna override them and create them from scratch in C++. In the future, I'm gonna use this base project for more VR fun mechanics. I have here an empty scene with just the VR bone, which contains the VR camera, and some pickups ready. This is the basic pickup, which extends from the C class pickup actor. The first step is to create the pickup interface, which extends from an Unreal interface. The pickup interface contains two methods, pickup and drop. Both of them receive as a parameter a motion controller of type U motion controller component. The next step is create the pickup actor class. The pickup actor class is type of actor and implements the pickup interface. This actor has three components. The root, which holds the rest of the sub-objects. A base component, which has the physics enabled. The pickup will be affected by the gravity through this sub-component. And finally, an interactive collider, which is for interactions. So the hand or the motion controller can detect if the pickup is near or not so we can grab or drop the pickup actor. Next step is to implement the drop and pickup method from the pickup interface. This one and this one. Because I want to extend the implementation of the pickup and drop, we need to add the implementation notation for both methods. For the actual implementation of the pickup and drop methods, I give three variables. And using boolean, which indicates if we are using the pickup or not. A boolean to hold the initial states of the physics for the pickup. So we can leave everything as it was when we drop the pickup. And finally, a reference to the motion controller component that is pick up, picking up the the actor. Let's go to the CPP and take a look at the implementation. In the constructor, we have the root to default sub object defined as a main, main root. The base, another sub default object, has the physics enabled by default, and the type of collision is physics only. This component goes attached to the root. And finally, the interactive collider, another sub default object, goes attached to the base. We set the using as a false, but we, we indicate that we are not using the pickup in any way. In the begin play, we give the initial status status for the, for the physics for this pickup. And now the implementation for the pickup and the drop method, using the implementation notation. Simply, when we want to pick up, we need to check first if we are using the pickup or not. 
and we set this boolean to true. We keep a reference to the motion controller. We remove the physics so the object won't fall. And finally, we attach the base to the motion controller that we receive as a parameter. We need to set the transform rules and we set them as a keep wall strap transform so it will give the same transform that it has the pickup hit has. Okay, the drop implementation is very simple. We just need to check if there is no motion controller so we can drop the pickup in, in any way or if the motion controller is exactly the same as the reference that we kept. We set the pickup as a node using. We set the physics as we have in the begin play. We clear the reference to the motion controller to prevent any kind of errors. And finally, we detach the base or this pickup from the motion controller. And that's it, that's the pickup. Now let's take a look at one of the pickups, the blueprint pickups based on this class. So let's open this one. And here we have the root, the base, and the interactive collider. I also included this static mesh to represent the pickup. It's very important to change the type of collision to block all dynamic to prevent this pickup to fall and go through the, the box that we have in the, on the scene. The last step for this tutorial is to replace the pickup interface and the pickup actor on the blueprints uh, motion controller and motion controller pawn from the template. If we open the motion controller pawn, we can see that this blueprint is in charge of spawning the both motion controllers for the left controller and for the right controller. Here is where we have the input already hooked up with the motion controller. We have graph left, graph right, and we have graph actor and release actor. This is, these are the functions that we need to change. I'm gonna explain what I've done because all of this is, is ready. Okay, so the graph actor first, Call this method, which detects if we have any pickups close to the motion controller. As you can see, this method returns a pickup. And in this case, it's a pickup C++, not the pickup from the template. This method is very, very simple. All it does is take this element, the graph sphere, which we can see is this sphere. What it does is call this get overlap actors and detect all, all actors that are close to the, this graph sphere. It gets the location, the wall location, and compare with its element on that loop, on that array. This array. The other thing this method does is go through all the overlap actors and check if any of them implements the pickup interface. And this is the pickup interface C++ class. If this is okay, it will check for the distance and get the closest actor to the graph sphere. And finally, it returns that pickup. In my case, I change this and I'm casting the that actor to 
the pickup. So I can return the pickup and not the mesh. Okay, so here we have the pickup, which I also have a reference. And again, this is the pickup actor class, C++, not the pickup that comes on the interface. And finally, with this pickup, we can call the pickup method from the pickup interface C++ class. And also send, send the motion controller that we are using to pick up this object. The other method that we need to change is the release actor, which is drop a pickup. And it's the same. We have the attached pickup that we got from the pickup method from before. And if it's valid, we just call the drop method from the pickup interface, sending the motion controller. The last thing we have to do in this template is to change to update the animation of the hand. In the template, there was this attached actor over here, so I just replaced the attached pickup instead. And here, I'm also using the pickup to, to check if it's different or not. So the rest is the same, nothing else to change. And with this, we can check if uh, we can pick up and drop objects in VR. I have my Oculus over here, so I'm just gonna test and show you how it looks and play around with these pickups. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like the video. If you have any questions, leave any comments down below. That's all. Bye!